Hello guys, and today we are back with another follow-up video on the Scepter monitor and getting a 120 hertz output. And today we have the fix. Anybody that I've talked to in the comments on the last video, if you guys are watching this, purchase the EDI emulator. I will have the link of the exact one that I bought. There is not many videos out here explaining this, but there is monitors out there that are capable of doing 120 hertz through HDMI and the PlayStation is having issues connecting to the HDMI and it's thinking that it's not what it is so in order to get around this there's a little device called an EDI emulator EDID emulator it's called EDID emulator and it basically plugs into your HDMI cable and then plugs into your monitor and what that does is, is it tricks your PlayStation into thinking that's what it is and it gives you your 120 hertz modes in your games so if we go back here we're gonna to go to the main menu and I will show you guys in the settings here that we are running at 120 hertz now this is for Cold War any games that are able to do 120 hertz um, you will be able to so video information output 1920 by 1080 at 120 Hertz now I'm going to show you guys exactly how I set this all up sorry my camera focus is so bad right now but um I'm going to show you guys how to set this up so you guys do it correctly so when you guys do get this device you know exactly what you need to do so let's go back so first thing you need to do before you connect this device to your HDMI is you will need to go to save game data go to game presets and turn your stuff to performance mode you have to have it on performance mode for 120 Hertz output and then second of all you're gonna to need to go to your system go to HDMI and turn on it off HDCP and then once you do that you're going to go to the back of your monitor you're gonna plug this little device in and uh, yeah so that's what we do there so let's go check out the back of my monitor and you guys can see what this device looks like for yourselves so this is what the EDID emulator looks like. It's just a little device. Your HDMI will plug into it and then it plugs into your monitor. Now, like I said, I was not able to get 120 hertz output just by plugging it into the monitor. We should have been able to, but something with the PlayStation is just is not working very well with it. And uh, with using this little device, it will trick your PlayStation and you will get your 120 hertz output as long as you have a monitor capable of doing it through HDMI. You have to at least have a 2.0 HDMI on your system or higher or on your monitor I should say so this little trick works like I said I'll link it below so you guys can go get it for yourselves is on Amazon for about twenty two dollars and it fixes all of your headache issues that you guys are having with the PlayStation 120 Hertz so if you guys have a capable monitor and you're not getting 120 Hertz and you know you should be able to get this little device and your headaches will go away boys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I really appreciate each and every one of you guys out there supporting the last video that we did that's why I made a follow-up so you guys know get this device it is worth your money and trust me you guys will not be disappointed about this this fixes the issue and uh, like I said hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in another video but this is how you get your PlayStation 5 into 120 Hertz through HDMI 2.0 this is the fix boys here we are. Peace, boys. We'll catch you guys in the next one.